Hey everybody, it's Mitch, and welcome to my next video. Today we are going to be talking. We're going to be doing another Dungeons and Dragons 3.5 prestige class description. And today we are going to be from the Complete Warrior. We're going to be looking at our friend, the Tattooed Monk. So let's get started with it, shall we? All right. So the Tattooed Monk. Um, basically, uh, we're going to be talking about what they are. We're going to talk about what they get. We're going to talk about um, we're talking about how they get in. We're going to talk about what they get, and finally, we're going to talk about how good they are and how you might use them in a build. Uh, so let's get started. Um, so first off, what is a tattooed monk? Well, um, as the name implies, uh, they are uh, typically uh, a monk. Um, usually, I mean, uh, they, other classes can take this, but um, generally, it's monk. Um, it really fits much better with monk anyways. Um, and they come from an order that um, uh, gives uh, supernatural, tat supernatural magical tattoos to um, their members that grant them special powers. So that's basically what this class is, is they're monks that have tattoos that give them special powers. Um, pretty simple and straightforward. Um, so yeah, let's talk about how to get in. Uh, so, fairly simple, any lawful, same as Monk, so that's kind of a nothing. Um, base attack bonus plus three, so you're going to need like, what, five levels of Monk to get, or no, I think six levels of Monk. Okay, nothing too terrible, that's pretty simple. Um, let's see, skills, uh, knowledge, religion, eight ranks, okay, that's not too terribly bad. Um, yeah, that's, that's not bad at all, really. So, okay. Um, uh, I, I, I'm not sure if not, uh, I don't know if they have, uh, actually that might be a bit of a trick, the knowledge religion might take a few more levels because I don't know if that's, uh, that might be cross class. Not sure. Um, uh, anyways, uh, there's ways to get it though. Uh, especially seeing as most monks are humans. If you take able learner, then that'll help you get in. Uh, and feats, it's going to take endurance, improved grapple and improved unarmed strike. Now endurance, you're going to have to take on your own. That's just how it is. Um, you could also take a dip in Ranger, but you'd have to do that first because of the way monks work. Um, now, uh, uh, let's see, for improved grapple, you could get that for free at second level if you want um, by giving, getting rid of your, um, um, yeah, your uh, strike, your uh, uh, stunning fist. Um, but stunning fist is pretty good, so that might not be the best option. Um, improved, and you get unimproved on arm strike, like monks just get that. So pretty easy to get, uh, pretty easy to get in really. Um, other than that knowledge religion, that one's a little bit of a trick. Um, so, uh, let's talk about, uh, what they get. So first off, uh, they get an average base attack bonus, which is the same as the monks. So not too surprising. Um, they get a D8 hit dice again, same as the monks. And so not surprising. They get all good saves, so for, uh, fortitude, reflex, and uh, and will, all good. Um, just like the monk, actually. So very similar to the monk so far. Their chassis is actually identical to the monk, um, except for maybe skill. I, I suspect the skill list is at least a little different. I haven't looked at it that too close, but it's four plus int, um, which I think is about what the monk gets, um, and the decent amount of skills. Uh, so very, very, very similar to the monk, if not identical. Um, then, uh, aside from that, they're going to get, um, a few things. They're going to get monk abilities. So your levels of tattooed monk will stack monk for the purposes of your unarmed damage, uh, for your unarmored, um, uh, AC boosts, uh, bonus and for your, um, uh, unarmed, uh, unarmored, uh, speed boost as well. So... Um, yeah, kind of the best things that monks get, um, uh, it stacks with. Um, so yeah, that's kind of good. So you're still going to keep gaining, uh, speed every three levels. Um, and it's not three level. And, you know, if you have two and, you know, if you had like a weird number, like if you got in after seven levels of this then two levels of that, you'd hit nine and get another 10 feet. Uh, so you get that, you know, your unarmed damage, which is one of the better things monks get that keeps going up. Um, so very, very, very good. Um, yeah, and that AC bonus is nice too. So they also get tattoos. So let's talk about all these tattoos. There's a lot of them. So I'm going to go through these one by one real quick and kind of explain how good each one is. So let's see. Um, first, oh, and they're all supernatural and are done uh, as a uh, 
swift uh, no as a move action unless um, they're a continuous effect that just works all the time so some of them you don't even activate they just always work so you get uh, arrow root um, that one will let you heal um, other people um, an amount uh, if uh, equal to your wisdom bonus times your class level uh, you can divide it up doesn't have to always be it doesn't have to all be used on the same go um, it's not a terrible one especially as a move action heal um, it is going to be uh, the, the big issues with this is wisdom's generally uh, well actually no wisdom is one of the better stats for the monk so that's good uh, the biggest issue is you're going to need to take a lot of levels in this class in order to get that to scale up because at first level it's just your wisdom bonus and that's it um, whereas um, uh, if you take all 10 levels it's wisdom times 10 which is something um, so you're going to need to take a lot of levels to make that one worthwhile uh, bamboo, um, basically that one just lets you add, uh, uh, what, uh, your character level. Let's see, uh, let's, uh, it lets you add the number of tattoos you have, um, uh, to your, uh, constitution score, uh, for a number of rounds equal to your class level. Um, you can do this, um, a number of times equal to your class level. So it scales everything based off of how, how, how far you've gone into this class. So... Uh, the bonus goes up by tattoos, um, which you get one every other level. Um, you get one at every odd level in this class. Uh, and then the number of times per day and how long it lasts goes both go up by uh, how many class levels. So um, everything scales the more you go in. So it starts out pretty bad, but <clears throat> if you take all 10 levels, it's actually not too terrible. That's, you know, a plus five bonus that you can do. It lasts for 10 rounds and you can do it 10 times a day. That's not too bad. But a plus one bonus that lasts for one round that you can do once a day, not so great. So you're gonna it, that, that one uh, as well as a lot of them work um, better if you you know really go full into the class. Um, let's see. Um, then you have the bat. That's basically the same thing except for dexterity. The bellflower is an interesting one. That one um, will let you add your constitution modifier to one of your ability scores. Um, uh, including, uh, not your constitution, it'll let you, let you add your charisma modifier to one of your uh, ability scores, including charisma, for a number of rounds uh, equal to, uh, you know, the uh, equal to the, uh, your class level. Um, yeah, and for a number of rounds uh, equal. So basically, this one is really, really strong uh, if you have a high charisma, which monks usually don't. But if for some reason you're doing a charisma build, that's a pretty good one um, because the higher your charisma, the higher the bonus. So especially if you're adding it to charisma, you can use it to temporarily boost your charisma by a lot. Like if you have a 30 charisma, that's a plus 10. Now you have a 40 charisma. That's pretty good. I don't, having that for 10 rounds ain't bad. Um, uh, yeah. Quite good. Um, let's see, then you have the butterfly, um, uh, that's again the same as, as, um, not the bell, not the bellflower, but the bat and the bamboo, but with wisdom, um, you have the centipede, let's see, centipede, oh, this one's a once per week one, but it lets you use, um, uh, what was it, sorry, there's just so much, I had, I have to look at these, um, this, uh, let's see, Crustration. this is Crustration. Um, shadow walk. So basically, you can do a shadow walk once a week. It's okay. Um, if you really need shadow walk, I mean, it's not bad. Um, let's see, chameleon. Um, you can use alter self. Uh, once per day per tattoo. So that's actually that one actually can be really good, and that can actually, uh, if you're trying to get into another class that um, uh, I'm going to be covering shortly. I may the video may have come out uh, already, but I'm. Uh, haven't done it yet, but if you're trying to get into Warshaper, like this is a good way to get a monk to qualify for that. Uh, it's having them, you know, have, be a tattooed monk with a chameleon tattoo. Um, let's see, crab. Um, you gain uh, DR magic. Uh, uh, let's see, you gain damage reduction to magic. This damage reduction improves by two for each additional tattoo. So basically, you can get up to DR 10 magic, which is a significant amount of DR. But DR magic's really easy to overcome. It's uh, one of the worst possible DRs to have. Um, let's see, crane. 
uh, character, uh, let's see, uh, you get, oh, this one's one that um, you're going to want to take early if you're going to take it. Uh, initially, it makes you immune to non-magical disease and then poison, and then it um, will give you um, the whole aging thing that uh, monks and druids have. Uh, it basically gives you a timeless body effect. Um, but uh, in order to get all of those, you have to take two more tattoos after that one. So um, if you're going to take that, you're going to have to go into this class for a little while. Let's see, Chrysanthemum. Um, this one will basically make it give you fast healing. Uh, it's a decent amount um, for out of game, um, especially if you don't have access to a lot of uh, fast healing. Um, it's way better than natural healing. Uh, so let's see, what is it? Uh, let's see, this uh, every hour uh, heals a number of hit points equal to his level. So it's not class level, it's, it's level. So this will stack all your levels together. So basically you gain um, fast healing uh, where uh, you heal what you would normally heal in a day every hour you're in direct sunlight. So that's not too terrible. Um, there's a lot better ways to get fast healing and a lot better fast healing options, but not really for a monk. Um, let's see, dragon. Um, basically, it gives you a breath like uh, an elixir. Um, you can only do it um, up to five times a day, though, so that's pretty limiting. Um, dragonfly. Let's see, once per day, he gain, you, know, you gain a dodge bonus to your AC equal to the number. So basically, you can get a dodge bonus um, of like uh, plus five. That's actually not too terrible. Um, Falcon, um, makes you immune to fear, um, and all allies within 10 feet, gain a morale bonus, um, equal to your charisma score, which again, your charisma might not be great, uh, plus the number of tattoos you possess. So your allies get a morale bonus on fear too, and you're immune. Okay. Um, lion, um, can smite a foe, gaining a plus four on the attack roll and a bonus on damage roll. Um, yeah, gain a plus four on attack roll on uh, single attack. The tattooed monk must declare the smite. So basically, it's a smite, um, uh, and you get a dam equal bonus on damage equal to your class level. So you could get like plus four to attack and up to a plus ten to damage. So not bad. Um, let's see, one, and you can do it up to five times a day. Uh, monkey, this one's actually one of the better ones. So monkey basically gives you a uh, plus one confidence bonus uh, per tattoo. So up to a plus five confidence bonus to a number of skills, like a lot of skills. So let's go over all the skills it adds this to. Balance, climb, escape artist, hide, jump, move silently, open lock, sleight of hand, and tumble. So a lot of skills and a lot of the better ones too. So this is a pretty good one. This is, um, if you're trying to make a skill monkey monk, but monkey tattoo is the way to do it. It's a really good option there. Uh, mountain. Uh, this one's actually uh, interesting. Uh, let's see. gains a plus four on constitution and wisdom scores, which will up your uh, hit points. It gives you temporary hit points that are not lost first. So uh, you can't accidentally die from them. Basically, what that just means is um, you'll gain temporary hit points uh, equal to uh, two times your level. Um, and... Uh, once the effect wears off, you, uh, ev you'll you lose, uh, uh, if you didn't have, uh, if you were at above maximum HP, you're now at maximum HP. If you were below maximum HP, y then your, your, your normal maximum, then your, your maximum just goes back to normal and you don't actually take any wounds. So that's actually really good. Um, uh, there are some downsides to this. Um, let's see. You well, you get a few immunities too. Like you get immune, uh, you become immune to. Let's see. Uh, cannot you can't move from the spot you stand. You gain some bonuses. Um, uh, while you uh, in this ability, you take a negative twenty on dex checks, uh, dex based skill checks. So you can actually use them, unlike some things. Um, but you're immune to bull rush and trip attacks, which is pretty nice. Like. You just, any bull rush or trip attack will just automatically fail. Uh, so that actually can be really good in the right circumstances. Um, uh, yeah. And, and you can use this um, up to five times a day. Um, up to, it's, it's once per day per tattoo. Whenever I say like up to five times a day, it means once per day per tattoo. Um, so Nightingale, um, character, this uh, you can heal your own wounds or others. 
Um, uh, let's see, you can do it up to two times your class level. It's not as strong, but you can actually heal yourself, unlike uh, the other ones. Um, Ocean. Now, Ocean is one of the great, the best ones. It's really short and sweet, but this one's really good, and I highly, highly recommend anybody who's uh, going into the Fist of the Forest uh, class, like they're doing Monk Fist of the Forest, to also take get this tattoo. Um, like at least take a one level different tattoo to Monk for it because it is so good. Um, a character with set, this tattoo never needs to eat, sleep, or drink. Sounds kind of basic, but if you have things, uh, but it. Um, you know, you don't ever, you don't ever, ever have to worry about being attacked in the night because there is no night for you. You're not a spellcaster, so you don't have to worry about preparing spells or any of that garbage. Um, and on top of that, you know, you don't have to worry about just being attacked while you're sleeping, uh, which is just a normal problem a lot of people have because uh, you don't sleep. You don't have to find food. You don't have to find water. So you don't have to worry about any of that stuff. Um, you do still have to breathe though, but that's, that's about it. Uh, makes it, uh, it's, it's a pretty nice one and it's really good for Fist of the Forest since, um, their, uh, wild living, uh, makes it so that they can't, um, uh, buy food. They have to hunt for it and that they have to, and that they can't sleep in, uh, uh, in a town. They have to like sleep outside. Well, if you have the ocean tattoo, you don't have to eat or sleep. Therefore, like the biggest downsides of Fist of the Forest just go away. Um, yeah, it's pretty nice. Uh, let's see. Fe uh, then there's Phoenix, a character with this tattoo. Gains spell resistance equal to his class level plus 15. This one's okay. Basically, at best, it'll get you 25 spell resistance. Um, but that's going to be pretty, e but that's going to be high level by the time you hit that. And uh, it's going to start getting really easy to overcome real quick. So this one's. When it, when you, if you get in at Monk right away and take it, uh, it'll last and still be relevant um, right up until you finish this class. Um, then it's going to start becoming less good real fast. Although I suppose if you take the epic version of this, um, that'll keep scaling. Because uh, you can't. this is a 10 level prestige class, so there is an epic version in... Um, that actually would make this like way better actually now that I think about it since these things all uh, scale versus based on how many tattoos and the epic version was, would no doubt continue to gain tattoos um, whether or not new epic tattoos would show up is up to your DM rules is written it wouldn't but still um, let's see um, Pine a uh, character with this tattoo gains the remain conscious feat not familiar with remain conscious I'm assuming they mean die hard uh, let me know in the comments if um, you know about this uh, remote, remain conscious feat. Uh, Scorpion, uh, once per day per tattoo a character possesses. Um, uh, you can, uh, oh, uh, attacking him to you. Oh, so basically anytime someone attacks you, um, once per day per tattoo, so up to five times a day. Uh, when someone attacks you, you can make them use their worst ability score instead of their strength or dex that they normally use. Um, in order to make it so that they're probably going to miss. Um, so that's not bad at all. Um, yeah, and you have to do it before you know if they're going to hit or not. But if you're pretty sure they're going to hit, you can use this and make it a lot less sure they'll hit. Uh, spider's interesting. So Spider is one that um, does require that you have stun uh, the Stunning Fist um, uh, feat, whether you gained it uh, at second level as a monk or just took the feat on your own. Either way, um, it's the same. Um, but um, uh, basically what this will do is it will give you another use for a Stunning Fist. So when you go to use Stunning Fist, instead of doing it like normal, um, you can um, take a Poison uh, attack. And the Poison's uh, 10 plus your, your uh, 10 plus the Tattooed Monk's class level plus his Con modifier. So up to 20 plus Con, which isn't bad. Um, for uh, a DC and you just uh, and, and basically if it uh, fails if they fail they take two points uh, of con damage for the, both the primary and secondary so that's actually pretty nice uh, con damage is one of the best effects to have and just a flat two is pretty good so spiders nice uh, Sun uh, once per tape per uh, tattoo he possesses a character uh, gains a plus two luck bonus on a single attack roll, skill check, or abilities check, um, as he calls the full power of the sun. Uh, so you can only use it during daylight hours. 
Um, you don't have to be in daylight, but it has to be during, like the sun has to be up. Like you can still be underground or in a building, but yeah. Um, let's see, uh, Tiger, uh, once per day per tattoo he possesses. With the tattoo, he can fight unarmed with a plus one bonus on attack rolls and deal an extra 1d6 points of damage with an accessible attack. Okay, the burst uh, uh, lasts for one round per class level, so it'll last for a little while. You get some bonuses on attack and damage. Uh, it's decent, especially at higher levels. Uh, Tortoise, um, basically this one will make it so that uh, any time, uh, it'll basically let you, um, um, if uh, find a skill that you don't have any ranks in and act like you have a number of ranks equal to your tattooed monk class level. Uh, so this will let you do skills that are trained only when you don't actually have ranks in them since it does make your effective ranks your class level. So that this one's actually can be quite useful. You can only do it a number of times per day equal to your class level. Um, but, uh, or your, is it your class level or um, let's see per tattoo. So up to, so half that. So, uh, up to five times a day, but that's still pretty good. Um, let's see. Um, yeah, that can, that can actually be really useful. Uh, unicorn. Um, let's see. This is a power of good fortune. This ability allows the tattooed monk to reroll, uh, one D 20 that he just made. So uh, let's see, you can do that. that uh, takes, you have to take the, uh, the result even if it's worse. Um, and you have to do it, uh, declare the result before the original roll has been determined. So if you roll a die and you're like, crap, I don't like that number. This is important. I don't know if this is, I'm worried that's going to fail. Um, you can re-roll it and um, change the number to something different. Uh, let's see, uh, Wasp, once per day per tattoo character. Uh, you can use haste on yourself. That's actually pretty good, the Wasp one. Um, uh, white Mask, a character with... Uh, Although haste is a little less useful on a monk because of their speed bonus, the fact that they don't stack. But getting that extra attack is pretty nice. Um, let's see, White Mask, a character with this tattoo, is immune to detect thoughts, uh, detect lies, and any attempt to magically discern his alignment. He gains a plus 10 on all bluff checks. Not bad. So there's a number of decent ones here. Wow, this is a long video. Um, there's a lot of tattoos to just uh, talk about. Um, so yeah. Um, those are the tattoos that you can get. You can only pick up five, um, at least if you're just going to stay with the non-epic progression. If you go into epic, I guess you can pick up way more. Um, yeah. Um, and they also have a multi-classing note um, that uh, if a monk uh, goes and takes this, that they can still continue advancing as a monk. So that's nice, um, seeing as you're probably going to be a monk. Um, so basically... Um, that's all they get, so how good are they? Well, um, there's a lot of reasons to take a one level dip um, to pick up like specific tattoos that just really fit with whatever build you might be going for. Um, so there's a lot of reasons for that. Uh, you could also go all out and just take uh, 10 levels in this, and then once you hit uh, epic levels, um, start going like full on into Tattooed Monk, just taking more and more tattoos. You could, that could actually get really powerful. Um, so you could go that route too. Uh, basically it's kind of one or the other. Uh, the entry requirements are fairly easy other than that knowledge, uh, religion. That one's a little bit of the trick on there, but the rest isn't too bad at all. Um, so yeah, it's a pretty solid class overall. Uh, it works. It's one of the best, it's, it's one of the better prestige classes for monks to take. Like it's a really good idea for a monk. It's, well, it's often a really good idea for a monk to um, either go just full into this class or to, you know, dip his toes in and take a couple of things from it. Um, so, yeah, uh, that's the Tattooed Monk. Uh, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. I know this is a super long video, but uh, there's a lot to cover on, on Tattooed Monks. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, consider giving it a like. Maybe subscribe to the channel for more D&D 3.5 videos because we do one on every class, race, and prestige class in Dungeons & Dragons 3.5. So ring that notification bell so you never miss out on a video. Anyways, as always, I'm Mitch, and I'll be seeing you.